Roger. How you doing, man? I'm very well. How are you? It is the it's the end of the convention. What a fantastic weekend it's been, huh? Right? Yeah, and I thought, you know, with Father's Day and all, I didn't know what today was going to be like. But you know what I'm starting to realize is that these cons, man, it's not just for the kids anymore. This is for everyone. Yes. And there's plenty of stuff here for fathers. And we, it's just been a blast getting to meet the fans. I'm blessed. And are you? how are you? It's been a, such a great weekend. It's your first time in Louisville, right? It Actually, my very first time in Louisville was my very first con. So oh, Louisville wow. is very special to me. But I haven't been back since. And to be back for PopCon, which yeah. I love so much, it's been really cool. And. And really, the reason that we're talking at the end is because you've been so busy all week, and I couldn't get five minutes with oh, you. Oh, yeah. Well, here I am. Sorry about that. There you yeah. are. No, that's because I don't great. shut up. That's the problem. Oh, uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> I have the same problem. And you know what? I, I don't know if they told you, but I ran into, uh, speaking of Father's Day, I ran into a gentleman yesterday who had his daughter with him, and her birthday was Monday, and obviously today's Father's Day, yeah. and they agreed that the best way they could spend these two special occasions together was coming here, and they got to meet you. Oh, man, that's unbelievable. It's a blessing. I can't believe it. When you guys come over and take the time you're out of your day to come and say hello to us, it just means the world. And, you know, that's the thing I love about cons is we're all just a big old bunch of nerds. We it's are. the safest space in the world because... You know, everybody under this roof, they all like the same things. You know, we all have mutual appreciations for stuff, and we get to nerd out and with each other and, you know, look at, check out the cosplays. Yeah. And it's just, I just love it. I love it. Yeah, and we we talked about in the panel, well, we weren't talking, but I felt like we were because I was in the room. Uh, it, you watched The Last of Us, another sure. big game turned yeah. into a TV show. Yeah, it was show. really good. Wasn't it great? I loved it. I loved it. They really added a lot of new cool things, but some things were the exact same as the video game, too. Yeah, it was amazing. Now, uh, I did want to follow up because you had a question. It was like, who would you want to play your character if they did that? It's like, hey, you, right? Everyone keeps asking me, who do you want to take over your job? Because, you know, obviously you got to be fired if it becomes into a TV adaptation, right? Well, i got to ask, why? Why do I have to be fired? Why can't the original cast get a look in? We've already done it, and we're a hell of a lot cheaper than a lot of these A-listers, too. And you wouldn't have to be in, you know, like weird spandex with dots all over you this time. I mean, not a whole lot, I would yeah, think. I'd right? have to do a few sit-ups, but uh, I'd only need to buy five or ten pounds. I think I got it. Uh, uh, you know what? Whatever we need to do, <laughs> we vote for you, If sir. they wait much longer, I'll be too old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever happen, to be honest. We'll see. Uh, now, Katie, you got to uh, moderate the panel. Were there any uh, questions that you didn't get to ask or any questions from the audience that made you think anything different or like, oh, man, follow up? I had one I didn't ask. Did you play the zombies version of Red Dead? Yeah, Undead Nightmare, What'd totally. Did? I loved it. It was a lot of fun. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. Well, you got. You know what I found? If you wait until they're right up on you and then go for the headshot, it gets a little easier. But then you get overwhelmed, and there's a million of them. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I got. I was okay at it. I tell you what I did when I played his one is that I was high on her the whole way through, until spoilers, by the way, until I got to be Jack. And then when I was Jack, I was just a murdering yes. lunatic, <laughs> rampaging the Wild West. I played the same way, and it was like I didn't like Jack at that point. No, because you, you want to be so John. You to John, and then you have that horrible scene in the barn, and then you have to play as Jack. Nothing wrong with Jack. You know, absolutely nothing wrong. But the way I played him, he was a psycho. Because yeah. he's bitter. He's angry. His parents you are gone. You have to get revenge for your dad's absolutely. death. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Rob was telling me, you guys have some cool stuff coming up. There's a, like a, a full like Red Dead convention that's going to be going on in tombstone huge thing going on in tombstone arizona end of july i unfortunately will not be there but i'm one of the few who isn't everyone oh, wow. else is going to be there now are you going to the uh, the one whatever convention is that is in ireland that yes you? yes lisburn just outside of belfast second weekend of september that we're looking forward to that one that's going to be a lot of fun that's amazing yeah and it won't be just me rob is coming with me as is uh, alex mckenna who plays sadie adler and peter blunquist who plays the our favorite rat, Micah Bell? <laughs> now, is it just amazing that you get to like travel the world and just keep doing this Red I, Dead Redemption thing? I can't believe the fact that you guys are still loving this game. I, I didn't genuinely expect that. 
wasn't what I anticipated. I'm, my arms are black and blue from pinching myself. Aww. The fact that the game's still holding out, uh, it just blows my mind. Well, and the fans keep coming, man. This weekend was proof of it. It really is looking like Outlaws for Life. Oh, well, yeah. hey there, cowpokes. How y'all doing? Roger Clark here, a.k.a. Arthur Morgan from Red Dead 2. We're just putting a button on the end of Louisville Popcorn. But I can't wait to see you again in Indianapolis because we're coming back. I hope to see you. Have a blast. I'll catch you later then. Thanks for joining us for another celebrity interview. Of course, the KJ Today Show isn't just about talking to celebs. It's about hanging out with you. Join us live on Wednesday nights for pop culture, people to know, and pets. The KJ Today Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch live Wednesday nights at 7.